If you're so fascinated by the dead, why don't you join them? This one doesn't know you, but at least you aren't a walking corpse. This one must ask, why are you here? Bright moons! This one thought these were lost forever. You saved many lives at great risk to your own, Walker. You have Nalado's respect. This one will guard these documents with her life. That was one of Euroxia, the Usurper Queen's pet necromancer. His undead devastated our troops, so this one took pleasure in ending his existence. Now, Nalado must return to Riverhold to consult with Garashui. We must find a way to go on. Euroxia's chief necromancer, Zumag Fum, has been with her for some time, but our intelligence suggests his followers have only recently rallied to her side. Find Abnurthorn and Karmira. Tell them to meet us in Riverhold. I've spotted dragons circling in the distance from time to time, but it doesn't look like the winged monster that attacked the camp will return today. Was your hunt successful? Did you recover the documents that Chimera sought? I must join them there. The Khajiiti forces have been decimated by this attack. It will take every strategy I can devise to help Garesh Ri prevent the collapse of his militia. The appearance of so many undead, though, that concerns me. 
Yes, I read the reports. Zumog Foom and his necromancers working for my despicable half-sister. Such magic leaves behind a miasma of stench and decay. It leads to the mountains to the west, but I can't pinpoint an exact location. Good idea. Dragons are bad enough, but undead tend to go on without end. Better to deal with them now, before Euraxia's power becomes more than we can contain. In such a direct manner? Yes, as far as we know. It could have been coincidence, but the attack felt designed to hit us when it would do the most damage. I wanted to send Chimera with you to find the source, but I have no idea where she's gone. Find the source of this army of undead, and if you see Chimera, send her back to Riverhold. She's as reckless as she is capable, which is a dangerous combination. I'll make my way back as well. After all, Goresh Ri would be lost without me. In case you haven't noticed, we two don't always see eye to eye. She can be impetuous and obstinate, truth be told. Chimera gathered a handful of soldiers and took off to the west. If you run into her, send her back to Riverhold.
what do you want? I did not expect to see you in this desolate place, Walker. Did Captain Nalado send you? Or have you come to join us as we hunt the dragon that killed so many of our warriors? Then our missions coincide. We can work together to destroy the undead and slay the dragon. It will be glorious. When we finish with the hunting and the slaying, we can report our success to Lord Garesh Ri. I do not take orders from that old battle mage. Besides, the blood of Khajiiti warriors cries for vengeance. To disregard that cry, that is not a shame I can bear. No, I must do this. I must strike back and show my people that hope survives. The worthy life is full of risk, Walker. I assumed you knew that, given what you do. I will tell you a secret, though. Before my parents died, they gave me a pendant. As long as I wear it, Jode watches over me and provides his protection. To Jode, yes, but also to my family and heritage. I suppose you could call it an heirloom. It helps me in my role as agent for Lord Garesh Ri, and that is all I will say about it. Now, let us go inside and find the necromancer and the dragon. With me! Stay close! We will hunt these necromancers down and end this dragon. The path splits here. We will go right. Walker, you stay left. Moons guide us. Creatures, cut them down.
White Claw! Destroy the Necromancer! No more excuses! No more delays! Double your output! Your reanimated body will march at the head of your access forces! against me, no chance at all, but Mulamnir can be merciful. Come, let us talk. Mulamnir wants you to understand the challenge before you. Our puppet, Eurexia, commands a legion of soldiers, an army of necromancers, and a horde of undead. Add my dragon brothers, and the hopelessness of your cause becomes obvious. You and Abnathon are insignificant, but even an infinitesimal flea can irritate after it crawls beneath the scales. I offer you one last chance to survive. If you and the Battle Mage leave elsewhere, my brothers and I will not hunt you down. Then you will die, but not before we slaughter your friends and set fire to elsewhere. Once we reduce this land to so much ash, only then will I tear you apart. So promises Mulamnir whose claws have dealt a thousand deaths. Leave elsewhere, little morsel. Tell the battle mage, if I see you again, you will die. Five Claw, are you all right? I heard what the dragon said. Perhaps my confidence was a bit misplaced. That creature was much bigger than it appeared when it flew over the camp. I never jump without first knowing where my feet will land. Also, I have very sharp claws. We lost so many today. The dragon, that Mulamir, it has much to answer for.
We defeated the Necromancer and shut down one of their undead foundries. We need you and Tarn, despite my dislike of the man. But what the dragon intimated about Euraxia? It called her its puppet. Mm, I fear the dragons control the Rimen throne now. Yes, you must do that. I will join you after... after I take care of the remains of my soldiers. They died bravely and deserve to receive the proper sacraments. Go to Riverhold. I will see you there. Oh, there you are. Spare a moment for a chit-chat? If we've had this conversation already, then I wanted to thank you for the useful advice. But if I haven't seen you since our talk at that mysterious gravestone, which seems much more likely, then I could really use your help. Did I mention the dreams? Visions, really? They come and go without warning, like seeing through someone else's eyes. Quite disconcerting in an interesting sort of way. Anyway, my trusty shovel and I, we searched that entire grave and it was gone. The Petraeus head, the dreams, the visions, they drew me there, but someone got to it before I did. I have the strangest sensation in the pit of my tummy. It could be the cobweb porridge I had for breakfast, or something bad is about to happen. Well, that's sort of like leaping from the cliffs of failure without a rope, or at least without tying the end off first. I can't tell you how many times I've made that mistake. Oh, Abner wants to see you. He's in the town hall with the cat general. At this point, we need to come up with a plan that takes into account Euraxians, necromancers, and dragons. I proposed a few options, but Goreshri wasn't sold on any of them. Tell me. What of Chimera and the source of the undead? You paint a troubling picture, my friend. Still, we need to celebrate every victory we achieve. I fear such triumphs will be few and far between. Do you have anything else to report? My half-sister likes to think that she's in charge. She won't take kindly to being called a puppet. As for leaving elsewhere, I think not. Obviously, this Mulamnir fears us. Otherwise, the dragon wouldn't have deigned to talk to you. Every conversation I have with Cadwell makes my head throb, but one mystery at a time, if you please. Now, if only I could get my half-sister to listen to reason and see that the dragons are using her. A parley? I may not like her, but we are family. Besides, it would give the Khajiit time to regroup. You're beginning to think like a Tharn, my friend. Here, take this. Garish Ree gave it to me, but I refuse to accept payment for my services. 
A parley with Euraxia is a capital idea. I'll send word to Rimmon to expect us. I imagine my half-sister will treat us as befits my station and agree to the meeting. Attend to any other matters if you must, then see me when you're ready to leave. It just so happens I already have one. It involves distracting my half-sister with wit, charm, and words she barely comprehends. Oh, and you. Euraxia never could resist a pretty face. You'll pretend to be my bodyguard and personal valet. Consider it obfuscation to hide your true purpose. We don't want to give Euraxia a reason to react poorly to overtures of reconciliation. Not that I expect to reach an accord, but still. Meet me in Rimmon and we'll enter the palace together. Go on, go on. I'm capable of traveling to Rimmon on my own. We'll meet up at the city gates and go to the palace from there. I'm relatively certain Euraxia will honor the parley, but be prepared for anything. She's still a farm, after all. <laughs>